Ladies and gentlemen, this is the next drawing. It is called the Furniture Assignment. What we will do first is we will find the center like we always do. So we will draw a diagonal across here. We will do a construction line at the midpoint. Don't forget if your midpoint is not on, you type OS Enter and you check midpoint. Hit OK. This assignment is, this is a big one because it's a little bit more challenging it's a little wider so I'm actually gonna ask you guys to put these dimensions in a little further that way we can read them uh, because you can see some of it is starting to get pretty close to being cut off okay uh, so where do we tackle this first well we gotta figure out the box size disregard the fact that I wrote it up here I want you to know how to figure it out yourself because when we do our exams uh, our quarterly exams you guys won't have that information in front of you so if I add the entire width of the dresser and I add the one inch in between and I add the two and five eighths that should give me my box size of eight and seven eighths wide my height is five and one fourth because if I took three and one sixteenth and I added this number two and three sixteenths from the top of the dresser to the top of the TV which is the top point of the drawing that's how you get your five and one fourth okay so box size eight and seven eighths by five and one fourth we can get rid of this offset eight and seven eighths half of that is four and seven sixteenths always double the bottom number that's gonna be your left and your right five and one fourth half of five is two point five half of a fourth is one eighth so two point five plus an eighth is two and five eighths now if you're not sure of this math double check this should be eight and seven eighths this should be five and one fourth there we are get rid of these fillet radius zero now you can see that it, we're not there's not a clear-cut box here but we had to figure out what that was what is that line gone so we had to figure out where that box was gonna go okay inside of this you will box out the dresser you'll box out the nightstand and then you'll put the things on top of them so if you can see here we have a three and one sixteenth height and we ah that dimension is what got moved okay let's put that back let's just put that anywhere five and one fourth okay so three and one sixteenth by five and one fourth so we do our offsets five and one fourth three and one sixteenth oops three and one sixteenth I would immediately do another fillet radius zero that's gonna be the dresser so let's work on that first looking at the top one eighth of an inch is the very top so you come down one eighth one fourth is the bottom so we're gonna go one fourth one eighth from the top we can trim this line off uh, we can do our chamfer you can see it says 1 16th by 1 16th chamfer that's gonna be this corner right here so what we do is and by the way we can start trimming things away I'll trim that away um, that's gonna be the top of the TV so I'm gonna leave that for now chamfer D for distance 1 16th for the first distance 1 16th for the second distance and then all you're doing is going like that to that spacebar brings you back into that same number that to that so that part's done now these do kick in on the sides so you'll see by about a sixteenth it comes in and then it runs up and then it kicks back out a sixteenth so what I would do is I would take this left line and do an offset of one sixteenth that comes in this comes in let's make sure that we're re we are actually recording yes we are a little bit of trimming here this goes away that goes, that goes away um, now that line actually would have stayed on the outside I'm not sure why it trimmed the whole thing but you should get that look down there you should get the same thing down here that gets trimmed that gets trimmed oops that one gets trimmed Ah, see it did it again so if it's off screen like that and you go to do the trim it's gonna trim it all the way through which is definitely new in this software but we can just draw a line right back in there okay so we got the general outline of the dresser now the drawers 
The drawers are two and one half wide by 13 sixteenths high. So if I go 13 sixteenths for the height and I do the one eighth in between, 13 sixteenths again, one eighth, and that leaves us with 13 sixteenths again. A little bit of trimming. Whoops. Like so. You'll notice that down the center there's also a 1 8 inch gap here. So if I were to draw a line down the middle, midpoint to midpoint, and I do my offset of, I'm, I'm going to do 1 16th because that's half of 1 8th, so 16th left, 16th right, that way it's centered. Get rid of the middle one and trim down the center. All of this is open. like that. Now the drawer handles. The handles are one and one fourth apart. They're five eighths from the end. They're also in the center of these drawers. So you should be able to take a line and just make a dummy line here that we're going to erase later. And we should be able to do offset five eighths from this line and offset one and one fourth. I'm just going to double check that that number was correct. One and one fourth between the knobs and now we can draw two circles. They are diameter 1 8 So now notice that I'm only doing this in one area because I'm just going to copy it from one to the other. Diameter, put it at that point, 1 8 I'll take this, I'll copy it from the center of the circle to the other point. Now I don't need these. So I have one set up. Now, I can copy these. I'm going to copy it from the lower right corner of the drawer and I'll do the lower right corner for the other ones. Lower right, lower right, lower right. Boom. Done. Okay. On to the nightstand. The nightstand is the exact same setup but it's just smaller. So 2 and 5 eighths wide is the entire thing. 2 and 1 eighth is the height. So we do an offset of 2 and 5 eighths and we do a height of 2 and 1 eighth. That gets us to the top. Whoops. Offset 2 and 5 eighths I think I said. 2 and 1 eighth. Whoops. 2 and 1 eighth. That's going to get us the height of the dresser. We do another fillet radius 0. Okay, now we're focusing on this. We come down 1 eighth. We come down 13 sixteenths, one-eighth, thirteen, I don't think I typed that right. I can't really see my command line as always, but that should be it right there. Okay, now more chamfers, two here, two here. These also move in by one-sixteenth and one-sixteenth. So let me go ahead and trim the top of this line first. Let's do offset one-sixteenth. We'll bring that in and bring this in. A little bit of trimming here. That goes, that goes, and that goes. Those go. Probably can just go like that, right? And then we've got that going away, that going away, this, and that. So it's like a mini dresser, okay? Now, we can actually get the knobs right out of the way because we can copy those again from the bottom right corner to the bottom right corner to the bottom right corner. Last thing here is a chamfer distance, 1 16th, and 1 16th for the second distance. That's going to be a 1, 2. Spacebar brings you back in, 1, 2. So that's done. Trim between. Now we've got a lamp going on top of this, and we've got a TV going on top of this. The TV top is already here. The lamp, we don't really know where that is, but we do know that it's centered. So it's centered on this piece. So you'll notice that there is 8th, 8th, 1 one and this is one wide by one tall the shade itself but then when you come in one fourth on each side you would just draw lines between so let's worry about the base first we're going to go an eighth up and an eighth up and then since this neck here is one eighth inch wide we're going to again go one sixteenth left one sixteenth right this is a half which means we're going to go quarter left quarter right so here we go from the center point or the midpoint here we're going to go up one eighth first we're going to do an offset of, it's half, so we're going to do one-fourth. 
left and right. This line is now nothing. Connect these. Okay. Now offset one eighth again. That gets you to the top. Um, let's go ahead and let's think about this for a second. What's the best way to do this? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to do another 1 8 that gets to the point here. And let's figure out the neck first before we go any further. So we did the 1 8 already. This here is going to go up 1 inch. And then, like I said, we're going to offset 1 16th. That's going to go left and right. Hopefully I typed that number correctly. That was 1 16th. Good. And then the middle line is out. And now, instead of doing any chamfers or any hard work, you can just take the line tool and connect from here to here and from there to there. All right. That gets trimmed off. That gets trimmed off. From here, you're going to go put a line here. This is going to be one inch total. So I really do need another dummy line here. I'm going to go one inch up. And we're going to offset that by one half of an inch. We're also going to offset it by one fourth of an inch, and I'll explain why in one second. Because this is the top of the shade, this is the angle to the bottom, that goes across, this goes back to here. So now there's a lot of lines to erase. These, and don't forget that we had a little line right here that we have to erase. We want to keep everything clean. Boom, done. Now, TV, midpoint, straight up. I don't know why that stopped recording. That makes me so mad because then I'm drawing this and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use it. But hopefully it is usable. So TV, 3 and 1 eighth inch wide. Half of that. Half of 3 is 1.5 or 1 and 1 half. Half of 1 eighth is a 16th. 1 and 1 half is the same thing as 1 and 8 sixteenths. Plus a 16th is going to be 1 and 9 sixteenths. So that's like a funny number and that's a tough one to split. But 1 and 9 sixteenths should get you to the left and right of the TV. We can now trim the rest of this off. We can take the middle line out. We can start looking at the bottom, which has a little base of 1 16th by 1 and 1 half. So we're going to go 1 16th up. We're going to go with another dummy line in the midpoint here. We'll just go to there. 1 and 1 half. Half of that is 0.75. That's going to go right and left. Don't need this one anymore. This gets trimmed off. That's the base of the TV. Oop, that gets erased. Then the next part, another dummy line. It's going to go up 1 eighth. Whoops. 1 eighth. Now the reason it goes up 1 eighth is because the height of this is 1 eighth. The width of this is 1 fourth, which means it's going to go half of that, 1 eighth left, 1 eighth right. So, oops, offset, 1 eighth. That goes left and right. That's the neck of the TV. Then I would take a line and I would draw across here. But don't draw another one here. That's silly stuff. Grab this, slide this over, or do extend. Trim. Trim. You guys are going to use the text tool to write Samsung. I think the text height is... Let's see what comes up when I go to properties. Uh, 0.0625 so you'll do single line text 0.0625 which is I think 1 16th or maybe that's 1 32nd what is that one, two, no it's 1 16th um, and then you know all caps your rotation angle is 0 and then put that right in the center of the TV uh, 3 16 is the perimeter around so you know what we're going to make this look like a newer TV so instead of 3 16 we're going to go with 1 8 smaller bezel I don't even like that. I feel like I should go 1 16th. See what it looks like. Bigger screen, smaller bezel. I love it. 1 16th. 1 16th. Now, you guys are looking at the orange notebook, and it's probably going to be the other number. I don't care. You can do it either way. Uh, 0. And a fillet radius 0 all the way around. That looks like a new TV. Either way is fine. All right. And that's pretty much it. You guys put the Samsung, you change the name of the drawing to B. Well, I'm not going to do it on that one, but over here, change that to furniture, change your period or whatever that is, change the date, and then print it out. You got to do dimensions too, obviously. But before you do dimensions, why don't you put your line weights on there, select everything, and then put exactly what I have here with all these dimensions. If you need to, 
from this line, you can go fourth, fourth, rather than three eighths, one fourth, just so that stuff fits better. But on the bottom, still go with three eighths, one fourth, three eighths, one fourth. All right, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this is a usable video, but I don't know if it will be. Thank you for watching. Hopefully if you're somebody out there in the world, you have already subscribed. If not, you should, okay? People in my class, I will see you guys Monday, later.